Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to our divine journey to playthrough. I am just working on our thing over here. Before I do that, I just realized this magnet is... All this stuff is, like, ending up in my inventory. I haven't checked this in a while, but uh, we'll have to deal with that sooner than later. Um, I've gone ahead, crafted up a ultimate tank, and we are converting the brine or the water into brine, and we're going to have to convert the brine into lithium eventually. Uh, and we'll probably go ahead and craft up another controller. Uh, I just don't don't want to do it right this second, but it'll probably be worth it to be honest. Um, I have gone ahead and crafted up another valve. And the reason I want to do that is because I'm going to, I don't know, oh, back or something. All right, I may actually turn off my mob farm so the sounds stop, but uh, yeah. So I've also gone ahead and crafted up these thermodynamic conductors and a resistive heater. There are quests for it right there. And... Uh, have that and then we have to work on a thermodynamic boiler and lithium next so i'm going to do the lithium and the reason for that is because i believe this requires lithium so those boiler casings require lithium uh, so i need to do this side first so yeah, and I want to use this resistive heater, and I think this only has one, oh, it has two outputs, all right. I guess we'll throw it right there. I really don't like having blocks, like, floating up like that. <laughs> I may just use a second thing, so it's not floating up in the air. Uh, but basically, this is produces heat. You can see how much you want. You can even set how much you want, and that's how much... Or if it uses, and then it heats up the the thing through the conductors, and will heat up the multi block. So the multi block is only producing a tiny little bit. We can see it; it's only going up by one at a time. But if we connect this, I've also gone ahead and crafted up a another just a simple power cell. Um, I didn't go all the way up the thing because I didn't have the mithril. So I'm like, I don't think we even need it up that way. Set to out. Um, this is basically just to get power to it. Now, if you don't know, there is the resistive heater, which uses RF or whatever, and then the fuel wood heater uh, uses furnace fuels. So we'll do link. You have the same link. And pretty sure that works, right? You can do you can link different size power cells, right? Yeah. Um, and it just adds it to the size of the multi-block. Every time you add one, it gets a bigger and bigger buffer. It's like they're all joined, aren't they? Or something like that. But uh may actually need to put it here. There it goes. And you can just see it turned on. So, if we look at this, it's going to start going up. Now, I think you can do, if you really want, you can do it like way, way up. Like a thousand. We can see we're now using a thousand RF. It's going up much, much quicker. Um, so, I'm not going to have this like running. Permanently, obviously, over here. Um, not that it... I mean, I have plenty of power right now. But uh, basically, I just want to fill a fluid tank. Up to 112,000 millibuckets. So that's going to take a little while. But yeah, we were at, what, 116? And now we're up to that. I think the max is like... 3,000 or something like that? I'm trying to remember from Multi-Block Madness when I use this. I think it was like 3,000 RF per tick was like the highest I could get it. Um, higher than that, didn't do anything with this, but yeah, we're up to 10 millibuckets. 
<laughs> so we are cruising along. There we go. Um, you can also do solar panels if you want on the top. Uh, I don't know if like these solar panels do it, but if you do the... Oh, is there no solars? I'm not seeing them. The, uh, they might be disabled. They look like that, but that's not the... It looks like they are disabled, the solars. Um, usually you can put them on top of that and it'll heat this up, but uh, they are uh, pretty easy to produce power with. All right, we're actually converting it faster than this pipe can pull it out, which is hilarious. All right, so I'm going to let that go. And like I said, we're going to fill this up, which won't be very long. And then we're going to put this back in the controller to turn it all into brine. Um, it is a 10 to 1. So we'll get 11,200 buckets. And then we convert that into actual lithium dust. Okay, I am crafting up the next bit. Got some more of that, what is it, Elevatium or whatever the name of that. Yeah, I think it is. And, oops, forgot to. Ooh, crystallizer condenser. All right, cool. So there we go. Uh, again, ultimate gas tanks. Uh, but the Cosmic Alley is probably the most time consuming. I mean, you just throw the stuff in a chest. But unfortunately, we don't have auto crafting yet. Um, soon. Very soon. Alright, so I'm gonna want to put this stuff back in. Now I have just broken it and emptied out the water, but we should be able to. There we go. All of Brian's going in now. And then... Turn that on. All right, and then that will empty that out. And then I will probably, I'm just thinking, how do I want to do this? Uh, maybe pipe it back out. I don't know if, it is a 10 to one. Oh, that holds a ton. What am I talking about? Yeah, that whole thing is gonna fit in there. Also, I totally crafted up better pipes. Did I just... No, I don't think those... Do the pipes? I may have just voided some, actually. Which will make me sad, because I had it, like... Yeah, I was like, I, I can't remember if these hold. Since, like, there's no rendering, I'm like, I don't know if they actually physically hold stuff, actually. Um, all right. But, no, that's what I want to do. I want to do liquid lithium. Do we want to put it in there, or do I want to just pipe it directly into... I may actually just pipe it directly into... Let me just type pipe it into a crystallizer. Instead of into a tank. Like I said, we're going to get a second one of these so I can just hook it up. I don't need to <laughs> do convoluted things like this. Oh. It needs to go into rotary condensator. I don't think that auto upwards does it. Making this very convoluted for myself. Man, I need to get it facing. <laughs> uh... You know what? No. It doesn't say there's anything in them. That's why I was like, is there actually anything in them? Um, let's just do it into a, a thing. 
I'm making this harder on myself. Because then I can put that anywhere. I just realized I'm like, I can't put that there because I don't have easy... The power is right here. Alright. Did that do... Okay, that did everything. We are missing, like, one little... We're missing one millibucket. <laughs> Maybe the... I'm like maybe the pipes hold one hold one millibucket. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Alright, um do did I put this down the right way? It has to go like that. Yeah, that is the fluid one. And all right, there we go. We're turning the liquid lithium into the other lithium. I'm pretty sure it is a one to one. All right, so that one actually does have that, does say it on there. That one didn't. Let me start piping some. Hmm. Interesting. And now it doesn't say it on it. Curious. Um, maybe I'll turn that config off, actually. So I can actually see. I really don't like not being able to see what's going on with the pipes. Alright. I could throw some... Upgrades on there, but I don't think I'm going to worry about it too much. Why don't we do this, and then I will throw a... need, like, a... I think it's... Is that a gas? I'm assuming it's a gas. And I'm going to keep doing that over and over and over again until I switch out those things underneath. Um, what is it? Tube? Oh, look, it does auto output. <laughs> All right, but there we go. That is going to turn our lithium minus one little millibucket into lithium dust. All right, cool. So, yeah, I definitely do need... I need a second one because I need to turn the brine into the, the lithium, but I can't do that easily without doing, like, fluid tanks and stuff. All right, we just need the one more, and then... Ding! There we go. All right, the reason I also want to do that is because we got thermal evaporation blocks. Now, I also heard that we can do structural glass. Which is way, way cheaper. Usually these are on the tanks and stuff. Uh, I'm assuming probably not the outside, maybe? I don't know. I'll have to test it out. Once that's filled up, I guess. Although I don't have the thing on. Actually, no. Let's just, we'll break this. Do I want to break it? Yeah, let's break it. Unfortunately, when you do break it, all the connections break. So you gotta, like, reset them. But I'm just kind of want to see if... Oh, I should probably craft up the structural grass before I before I break it. Uh, the sheet metal. Man, I cannot cannot wait to get interfaces and patterns and clicking a button for these. And not wait, just because these recipes are expensive. There we go. I'm going to do a little 
kind of testing to see, like, can I replace the floor with these? I don't know. No, it didn't, it didn't form. Did it? Did it? No, it didn't form. It didn't do like the, yeah. All right. Well, I will see where I, if I can use this structural, I think that was, thought that was what it was. Yeah. See, it didn't do all the thing and this didn't light up. All right. I'll do a little more testing. All right. We are back. I may have electrocuted myself again on <laughs> my empowers. Uh, it makes me laugh every time I do it. So I'm like, yeah, I don't really want to change them. Uh, but I do need to. All right. So I have, was trying to get the structural glass and no matter where I put it, it could not get it to work. I put it you know, just one piece of glass here. I put it on the corners, which I didn't even think it would ever work anyway. But I tried. Uh, I tried on top. I did a whole layer of structural glass on top. That didn't work. Then I did it with just structural glass in the middle bits and then the thermal on the corners. And that didn't work. It just would not form. So I don't know if there's a trick to it. I don't know if it's been patched, but uh, I cannot get that to form. And I even looked it up on the Discord, and I did see some other people talking about how you can use it. I don't know. Maybe it's just too big brain for me. But uh, I've gone ahead and crafted up a second one here. Now, I didn't realize you could put valves on the top. I thought they had to go in the middle. But uh, apparently you can put them up top. I was just kind of seeing uh, if that would work up there. Also, since I was breaking this and... Replacing it. There we go. Um, I don't... I have no idea how the... Um, sharing walls work with valves either. I'm like, I, I don't think I can put them there, but who knows. Um, so I figure the easiest way would be to... Just put them... Up. Like here. Well, that's not formed yet. I didn't throw this down. There. Alright, so it's not getting like water. I was like, I hope it doesn't like get water or something like that, but yeah, it shouldn't. Um, Alright, it did form. I probably don't need to use this mechanical pipe stuff, but I figure it is. It's a mechanism, so we use mechanism pipes. I don't know. Alright, so the brine's going in there and it's turning into liquid lithium. That is what we want. Also, I could probably... This is probably going to be moved. Yeah, I've gotten some from... Breaking pipes and stuff. We've ended up with a weird amount. But uh, Alright, so that's done. That's done. And that's done. Um, I may move this. And then I'm thinking if we put... May, I need to craft up another valve. I don't think I have enough. I might be able to craft up another one of those. I just jumped over it again. <laughs> Alright, I did batch craft a whole bunch of these things. I don't have a ton of them, but I have crafted up a bunch. Um, oh, I don't have a cosmic. No! No, I think I... No! I gotta craft up... Ah! I gotta craft up a bunch of those as well. Do we have refined? No. Do I have any refined over here? No. That's right, because I was look getting... I was getting low on... Diamonds-ish. Oh, no. That's not what I want. I want that. Um, we should have some obsidian. I don't have a ton of it either. Confusion. All right, so I'll craft up another valve, and then I will place this down. 
here. Which side does it go out of? I don't really think it. Does it matter? I don't think it matters. Uh, but what I'm thinking is we'll like do this and this will be a valve right here kind of thing. Oh. Power cell. I mean, I don't. I'm like, I guess I don't really need this running, producing, Brian, because I have a whole bunch of the lithium stuff at the moment. So I could probably actually just turn that off. JK with that. Um, but here will be the liquid lithium coming out here. Now, unfortunately, oh, I guess I could just do a change of plan. Okay, there's not much liquid lithium in there. If I lose it, it's not the end of the world. I'll put this back here, I think. Hello. I turned off my mob farm, so actually I can put this back on. I got tired of getting mob drops in there. Okay, you don't lose the... I didn't think you lost it unless you broke the, the controller. Okay, so there is that. I just need to not step on that and craft up the, the uh, atomic alloy that we need. And then that will do that. So I also need the solar neutron. Now this is, this is a thing. <laughs> so that, 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 and then that that and that thankfully i have one of those energy cells somewhere don't we no because it's being used up there isn't it all right so got some crafting up to do we will craft up one of these but uh, boy are these expensive uh and this will get us the tritium i think that's how you say it right tritium Okay, that was a lot of Osco glass from all the <laughs> energy tablets that we needed, but uh, overall wasn't too bad. Uh, these cells, thankfully, you use three to get three. It's not like use three to get one kind of thing. So uh, overall, this is definitely the worst part of it, but not surprising. These induction cells, even with auto crafting, are a pain, but... There is our solar, solar neutron activator for the tritium. Now, gone ahead, crafted up another valve. So I got this hooked up. Um, usually I would sleep to turn it to day, especially since this is a solar, but uh, I need a need one more lightning strike. Uh, so I'm going to leave the rain. Now this, doesn't this like, you have to like put it in from the bottom or something like that. And then the tree DM comes out there. I feel like I sort of remember having to do that. And every time I always forget. Um, so I think I'm just going to do this and then, no, it didn't want to. Oh, is it, hold on. It's that. It's not uh, the mechanical pipe, isn't it? Yeah, so there we go. It does attach from the bottom, which there is no indication that that is a, a thing. Um, I think, well, I'm just going to get this going anyway. Um, I did want to see. Uh, I'm kind of curious what happens when you connect this up with two things. I don't know if I've. Oh, obviously that's not, yeah, uh, since this is, 
Uh, it needs the brine, so that's why that is looking a bit funny. I really need this one faster than this one, don't we? Oh well. But uh, that's going to produce our liquid lithium. And then... I'm just like, do I want to disable this? I have a whole bunch of the lithium dust now. Right, there we go. Um, but I do have to kind of wait for daytime. So the thing starts working. But uh, that will give us the tritium. And is tritium... Pretty sure that's a gas, right? I don't know why, but that humming is very satisfying. I think I say that all the time. Alright, I'm gonna have to... Ah, oh, no, we're actually good on steel for a while. I'm getting the... I keep thinking that's the two, but it's not. Okay, so that is that. I'm also seeing that is opening up generators. Which, that's something we could... Think about possibly although we don't have a blaze farm but um yeah i'm sure there is a cool i mean another star generator i don't think we're quite there yet the death generator i mean actually <laughs> we have like thousands of that stuff i don't know how fast it would go through it i would have let me look at that again what was that you get eight thousand that's nine i'm just seeing i'm like you get six from that No, I think it would be, I'm just trying to like, which would be, <laughs> would it be better to put the bone or the bone meal block or whatever through? But I'm like, we have 16,000 for my mob farm. That is definitely something to think about. Uh, but all right, let me come back when this rain has stopped. Okay, we are back. It is daytime, and I realized uh, this heat was up way too high, actually. Um, we're already, like, full air. We already have 500,000 brine or something like that. So I have lowered my resistance heater by quite a bit. I could probably even do, like, that. And I know, like, 128. We're doing MV in Greg Tech. <laughs> Medium voltage. Um... I probably don't even need, you know what, let's just do that. We'll do it like pretty low um, because this is obviously the bottleneck, but as we can see, we are good. I am actually going to do that and then once this fills up, we'll just leave that. All right, um, so that is that and then... I'm going to craft up the next part, this boiler, and also this uh, PR, whatever it's called, I forget. PRC, is that what that is? For the, that. Oh, chemical confuser, not PRC. That's a PRC. I will need one of those, uh, but we need a chemical confuser to get DT fuel. I do need deuterium, which is our Electrolytic separator, and that needs heavy water. Um, can we do a pump? Yeah, electric pump. That looks pretty normal. Where did it go? There it is. Let me throw it up there. And then the heavy water. It's like filter or something like that, isn't it? 
That is obviously locked. Oh, hello. That's quite expensive. All right. So we'll need that for the heavy water. Um, but I'll get that going next episode. And then the... Oh, you actually get some of the fuel back. That's actually cool. There is mechanism steam. That is what we need for steaming Restonia. So we'll have to produce that in the boiler. We get our DT fuel, and then we will get our steaming Restonia crystal. But uh, yeah, we do get some of it back, which is pretty cool. And then with this, finally, we unlock lasers, which I'm kind of looking forward to, actually. And with that, we will get auto crafting. So we're getting there, almost there, not quite. Um, but I did before we finished up here. I did want to craft this up, actually. Um, we have our lithium now. We have demon lord and its block of flesh. Um, yeah, it's actually pretty simple. And I guess. I'm going to have to figure out how I want to do this, because I would want this connected, obviously, to our mob farm. And would want this to be connected over here as well, I guess. Like, this is going into it, and then this is going out to the base, so I guess I would have it something like that. But obviously, we are... Getting confused here. Obviously, we will rearrange this. Uh, I may just do. Just in the meantime, like a hopper or something like that? I don't know. Hopper, servo, drawer. Is that what we want? Drawer, servo. Do I have a servo? I'll borrow that servo. Item duct. Yeah, we have all this stuff. So, obviously, we will... Not where I wanted that. Um, obviously, we will rearrange our power. Is that... Oh, that's trim. Yeah, that is not a drawer. That's just trim. <laughs> I can't remember. That was in like a recipe for something. I don't remember what it was. All right, we'll just use this basic drawer just uh, so I can get it up and working that, that, enable. All right, there we go. Uh, does that cause? That's not going to like, is that going to kill my sheep? I don't know, but there we go. We're producing power, uh, and uh, yeah, we have a little bit of a supplemental power gen with our lightning rods because we are going through the power relatively quick with that thing running. But uh, anyway, that's going to be it for today, so thanks for watching, and have a good one.